Hello, welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Roshni Dhar. Let's look at today's top news. No need coaching for students under 16 are allowed. The Ministry of Education has introduced new guidelines prohibiting coaching centers from admitting need aspirants below 16 years of age and making misleading promises. These guidelines, prompted by a surge in student suicides in quota, also address issues like fire incidents and inadequate facilities in coaching centers. The state government will now monitor coaching center activities, ensuring compliance with eligibility requirements and satisfactory operations. The guidelines emphasize that tutors must have at least a graduation qualification and coaching centers cannot guarantee ranks or admit students under 16. Registration of new and existing centers is mandatory within three months and websites must display tutor qualifications, courses, duration, hostel facilities and fees. An MC issues temporary registration guidelines for foreign medical practitioners. The NMC has issued temporary registration guidelines for foreign medical practitioners built upon the 2023 regulations. Eligible foreign citizens can apply for temporary registration to pursue specific purposes in India, such as academic courses or clinical activities. The registration duration aligns with the program's length up to 12 months except for certain approved courses. Emergency registration may be granted in exceptional circumstances for one month. Requirements include valid registration in their home country, a good standing certificate and an invitation to visit India. Temporary registrants can work under supervision assist during national exigencies but certain activities like signing medical certificates are prohibited. The guidelines address curtailment, suspension, withdrawal, cancellation of registration with the sponsor playing a crucial role. Online applications through the NMC websites are mandatory. For more details regarding this, you can check medicaldialogues.in. Pig liver successfully filters blood in brain-dead body. In a groundbreaking study conducted at the University of Pennsylvania, a team of doctors has achieved a significant breakthrough by successfully connecting a pig's liver to a human body that had experienced brain death. The novel approach introduced last Thursday involves attaching the pig's liver externally to the deceased person, serving as a temporary bridge to support failing livers. Unlike traditional methods, this external arrangement functions similarly to dialysis, filtering blood outside the body and aims to provide a crucial solution for individuals dealing with liver failure. During the study, the donor's circulatory system and breathing were maintained after brain death was confirmed and their organs were deemed unsuitable for donation. While the donor's own liver remained in place, a porcine liver was connected to the body using blood-carrying tubes to evaluate its potential as a perfusion vehicle. Remarkably, the pig livers showed no signs of inflammation during the 72-hour study period and the donor's body remained physiologically stable. Why Cannabis Makes You Hungry, new study reveals the munchies mechanism. While the munchies may be the most enjoyable aspect of using cannabis, there is limited understanding of how it works. The term munchies indicates an enhanced appetite or food cravings that people may experience after using cannabis, especially strains with high levels of THC, the primary compound in cannabis. As a result, the concept of munchies has become integral in the popular perception of cannabis users. What causes the munchies is nevertheless a field in which cannabis science has not been explored enough to understand how it works. A groundbreaking study from Washington State University has unraveled the mystery behind the cannabis induced munchies providing valuable insights into the mechanism that triggers increased appetite after cannabis use. Researchers focused on the mediobasal hypothalamus, a curation in the brain that regulates various physiological processes. Their findings, published in the journal Scientific Reports, reveal that cannabis vapor inhalation influences specific groups of MBH neurons, particularly those associated with expecting or eating meals. The study conducted on mice using advanced calcium imaging technology highlights the role of the cannabinoid receptor 1 or CB1R, a crucial component of the endocannabinoid system in the human body. The researchers observed that inhaled cannabis containing high levels of THC stimulates the activity of MBH neurons linked to appetite. These findings not only explain the popular phenomenon of the munchies but also suggest potential implications for treating appetite disorders faced by patients with conditions such as cancer, anorexia and obesity. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogue for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like subscribe and press the bell icon.